Have you ever were just going through college, just doing your work, studying, and then later on you just feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, so unmotivated, is this even worth it? Well, those are, are some symptoms of college burnout, where you just overwork yourself so much, you know, just studying, working for another job, and just bouncing life at the same time, and you just feel completely drained. And today, I actually want to tell you three tips on how to avoid, avoid college burnout. So without further ado, let's go on to the first point, which is to take better care of your body. And taking care of your body would mean, you know, taking seven to eight hours. But then you're like, Jonathan, why would you say to take seven to eight hours? I got so much to study for, for these different topics, these different classes. I'm not going to get seven to eight hours of sleep. There's just too much to do. Well, if you can't get seven to eight hours of sleep, you can always take naps throughout the day. So for me, when I was in college, I actually took so many naps. I was the guy that was known as being... Uh, the napper or the couch napper all the time in the club room and for me if i was ever feeling exhausted and have like a gap period or gap time i would just take like a 15 to 30 minute nap and next you know i'll just feel like okay i'm more awake now let's go let's go to the next class let's study for this next topic so if you can't get seven to eight hours of sleep you can always take in naps whenever you have time and it could be like 10 to 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes Whatever works out for you, test it for yourself to see which one will work out best for you. And other things for taking better care of your body is to kind of eat better or limit how much you eat without overstuffing yourself. And the reason why I wanted to talk about why just limiting the amount of how much you eat or just eating healthier is important for your, you know, to reduce college burnout is because what you eat and how much you eat affects your state. So if I, for example, I had a, I was in college, you know, there was a Panda Express, I ordered the two entree, one side, which was, let's say, the Kung Pao chicken and also the orange chicken, along with the half and half of the chow mein and the fried rice. And I ate the whole thing. And that was, I loved, that, was that was a lot of calories. That was like 800 to 1,000 calories. And, you know, I ate that in one go. And you know what happened? I'm just like, That's not a good feeling. And then, you know, I felt, I felt groggy after I woke up from my uh, nap. And, you know, I just didn't want to study at all. So just be more conscious of what you eat and also how much you eat. Because what you eat and how much you eat can affect your state on, let's say, performance in regards to, oh, you need to study for this long, for your this certain class, and all these different things. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is to ask for help. So my recommendation is to ask for help from a professor so during his office hours because the professor is teaching it, he knows what he's talking about but at times you may not understand or understand it so just ask him for help and if, you're, if you feel that your professor is not very approachable or not someone you want to approach for help you can always ask your classmates that are in the same class because they're dealing with the same struggles, let's say for your homework, uh, let's say during the lecture of what they don't want to get, and all these different things. So ask your classmates, because for me, I wish I asked my classmates a lot earlier than before, because I remember in my first two years of college, I thought, okay, I don't need to ask for help, I could do everything by myself. And for me, as an engineering student at the time, I didn't do so well in physics, uh, I didn't do so well in calculus, I tried to figure out everything on my own. But when I start asking other people, it's like, hey, did you understand this homework problem? Or I'm like, hey, did you understand how this program assignment work? That's when everything start clicking for me. And, you know, my grades went up and next you know, graduated uh, with a computer engineering degree. So tip, my tip for you is to ask for help from either a professor or from a classmate. And that is very useful, I would say. Tip number three is to take breaks so you know a lot of us are like oh my god i gotta grind it out study for eight hours straight and then next and then because i got this big exam or i got finals and i'm just like 
Oh my god, I'm so stressed out. Oh my gosh. Well, the thing is, you know, during that time of when you're really stressed out and you got so much to do, you start, your memory retention starts to diminish. So, and you start feeling tired, nothing retained in your head. So my recommendation for you is to just take a break. That could be, you know, going outside if it's still sunny outside and just go out for a walk, put on your favorite music on, just be present, walking around, look around your surroundings. Just take a break and, you know, be outside of that study zone. And if you, but if it's not sunny outside and you're like indoors, let's say like the library, you can always just stand up, move around, take a walk around the library or in the building, wherever you're studying and just kind of get yourself out of that study environment for just 10 to 50 minutes. So when you come back into the study environment, let's say the library at this certain desk, you'll feel, feel a lot more fresh and like, okay, let me study, continue with this chapter. And next you know, your memory is your tension. like, oh, I feel a lot better now. And you know, I'm not that tired. Everything just makes more sense now. So those are my three tips on how to avoid college burnout. For, I just want to recap this all over again. So first tip is going to be taking better care of your body. So getting more sleep and you know eating better while living while eating too much so you don't get like a food coma second one is to ask for help you can ask help from your professor ask help from your classmates because classmates especially we, we're all dealing with the same struggles we're trying to graduate and we're just trying to pass these classes and the third tip is to just take a break 10 to 15 minutes get your body moving move around go outside look at different things and just kind of be out of your study environment just for that 10 to 15 minutes. So those are my three tips for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, get, uh, click the subscribe button down below if you, and comment below if you want to see these different type of videos. So thank you for watching this video and, I, and I'll see you guys next time.